Hi guys, Ali here. So I'm back. I was sick for a couple weeks. It was pretty terrible. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, I will put the video at the end and you can watch that video. Um, but I feel like a normal human being again and I'm ready to refocus my efforts on my carnivore journey and actually weight loss, which I haven't <sighs> really been focusing on so well and I want to get back to that. When I started the carnivore diet, when I started the carnivore diet in March 2023, I really wanted to lose a lot of weight and I've, I've lost 33 pounds. Um, I should lose a little bit more and I want to work on that. So what I need your help with is I need an accountability partner because I always work best that way. Um, <clears throat> when I started the carnivore diet, actually, I was obsessed with losing weight. It was like something that was constantly on my mind. I used to cry about my weight. Um, I was... I don't know, maybe hopeless about my weight because I couldn't lose weight. And I was also at the same time obsessed with food. I was super obsessed with food. Um, and I wanted to just eat. I was just like a eating maniac. So what's funny is that what the carnivore diet cured for me in that way mentally is that I'm no longer obsessed about losing weight and I'm no longer obsessed about food if I stick to eating a carnivore diet because um, <clears throat> whenever I've fallen off, I just, you know, you just get back into that habit of just like eating and munching and stuff like that. So I have been on this journey since March 2023. I have not been perfect. And I'm sure that that has been part of the reason as to why I haven't lost all my weight. So what I'm saying is like right now I'm refocusing all my efforts onto eating healthy, sticking to the plan. And also I'm getting onto, uh, I need to get back onto OMAD. So I need to eat very specific foods so I feel satiated so I can get onto OMAD because I don't think just the carnivore diet will help me lose the weight because it hasn't. I need to OMAD when I started doing that. I noticed that I actually started losing some weight. So that is my plan. OMAD plus carnivore <clears throat> while also keeping my, my sleep in order. I am not allowed to stay up late. Uh, again, watch that other video. I need to be in bed like eight o'clock at night. I can wake up early. That's fine. But if I stay up till 10 or 11 or 12, I, I've messed up the circadian rhythm of my body and I've messed up my sleep patterns and it really, it, it, it's not good for me. So this is my plan. One, I've set a goal. And this month, I'm going to lose 10 pounds. I'm going to be easy on myself, eight to 10 pounds. Because apparently if you have like a perfect metabolism and uh, you can lose a lot of weight really fast, I do not. I want to be able to lose two to three pounds a week over the next month. Uh, I'm going to be doing OMAD. As soon as I can like get my body back into that mode, I'm gonna get onto OMAD hopefully by next week. Um, I'm going to get my sleep in order. I'm going to be eating beef, butter, bacon, eggs, maybe not so much bacon, maybe not so much pork. Uh, maybe a little bit of chicken, maybe a little bit of salmon, but mainly like beef and eggs works really well for me and I feel the best. I want to interject. When I don't eat this way, I don't feel good. I don't feel the best. Um, it screws with my sleep. Um, all the inflammation starts coming back. Maybe not all the inflammation, but inflammation starts coming back and it's just a problem. So when people ask me why I do the carnivore diet, it's not like I have a choice. I have to eat this way. Um, I have to eat this way if I want to actually feel good. If I want to feel terrible, go ahead, eat whatever you want. But if I want to feel fantastic, I need to eat this way. Um, <clears throat> the higher the fat, the better. I'm going to limit dairy, cross my fingers. Um, let's see. Okay, so my goal. My goal is to lose 10 pounds this month. I need y'all to help me as my accountability partner. Uh, let me know if you want to be my accountability partner in the comments below. That would be amazing. I'm going to stick to strict carnivore per Ken Berry's prescription. That's what I call it. I call it the Ken Berry prescription. Um, I am going to document over the next month exactly what I'm eating because if it works for me, if it actually debugs my stall and I actually lose the weight, I, wanna, I want to help other people because I know other people are also stalled and haven't lost weight in a long time, but they're eating this way because they feel the best, but they haven't lost the weight. And a lot of people want to lose weight for health reasons also because you can't have all that belly fat. The belly fat is not healthy to have that around your organs. So we need to get rid of that. Um, so I'm going to take my measurements and my weight so we can show before and after. Um, I'm going to go to sleep 8 to 9 p.m. latest, uh, get back onto OMAD. So that's basically generally the plan. 
I want to say carnivores help me in so many ways. And here, I'll just list a few of them. Uh, help me with my sleep. Help me with my menstrual cycle. Uh, help me stabilize my mood. Uh, I would have way less worry that I, I used to have people call that anxiety. Um, gut issues healed within days. Years of gut issues healed with literally in days. Um, I don't feel exhausted anymore. I don't feel like just sitting down watching TV anymore. Within days, I was cleaning my house. Uh, I had the energy to do this. Within days, I was playing outside with the kids. We had park right outside. I was doing all these extra activities that I hadn't been doing because I felt so bad. But as soon as I got onto the carnivore diet, it was like these things magically resolved. Um, funny enough, after a year on the carnivore diet, my feet shrank back to my pre-pregnancy size. I had kids. Uh, my, my daughter was born six years ago. My son was born eight years ago. My feet expanded. Uh, and I had to wear, I could almost only wear gym shoes. It was hard to wear any other shoes. Uh, and so slowly through the carnivore process, my feet started shrinking. And as of March of this year, they were back to my pre-pregnancy size, seven and a half wide. So that was pretty miraculous. I literally thought that was never going to happen. Um, I had uh, like eczema on my hand. If I follow a carnivore diet, I don't have that problem. Um, I had a C-section scar healed. There's other stuff and I can't remember really because I didn't note it. So I always say when you do a carnivore diet, like note this stuff down because you will be amazed. Those are just the things I remembered offhand. Um, inflammation. Inflammation in my back and my shoulders. Um, totally like so much improved and sometimes no pain at all. I used to have back pain for years, years, shoulder pain for years. And But the point is, is if I go off of this way of eating, problems start again. And so I have to stick to this way of eating for health reasons, but now I'm really ready. Like, okay, that's it. I got to lose this weight. I need to lose at least 30 pounds. Um, and the reason I say that is because I think in 30 pounds, I'll be around 145, 146. And that's like a healthier weight for my body. I wish when I was that weight, I realized that it was a healthy weight because even then I was obsessed with my weight. <laughs> um, and you, it's so crazy. When you eat the wrong foods, you're literally obsessed with your weight. When you eat the wrong foods, you just want to just like yo-yo diet or you're or not diet at all and just like constantly worry about your weight. It's just stupid. You need the right foods for your body. I'm not saying everyone has to do the carnivore diet, but I am saying like you got to eat the right foods for your body. For me, I have to eat this way. It's covered early in the, in the video. Uh, not everybody has to do that. <sighs> back to the purpose of the video. I hope you will help me in the next month and follow me and cheer me on and be my accountability partner and tell me when I'm doing something wrong because I'm going to document everything very clearly and hopefully this works. If this works, I'm going to export what I'm doing so that other people can do it too and actually lose weight and get the benefits that they want from the carnivore diet, uh, keep their benefits, but also lose the weight that they want. Um, and I think that introducing OMAD is probably the key and making sure my sleep is in order is probably the key. And I've been handling my sleep since I got sick and I'm going to bed very early every night and it seems to be working quite well. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little short video. Hope you will stick around with me um, in this journey over the next month. So as of right now, I'm 176.6 pounds. So in the next month, I want to get down to 166.6 cross our fingers, uh, and I hope this works. Thank you. Bye.